So really, uh, the open week in the schedule, how did it go in terms of what you wanted to accomplish, maybe, you know, do some things? I think it was good, you know. Uh, we did a lot of recruiting, both on the phone and in person. Lucky that we were close to a lot of great players and a lot of kids that are committed to us. So we were, we were all over the place. Coaches did a great job of heading out. And, you know, we had a, a big lift a week ago, to, you know, Monday. And uh, then we uh, practiced Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Gave the kids off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we came back, got back after it early this morning. And uh, it was good. You know, I, I think it came at a good point. Sometimes you have those bye weeks early in the year and, you know, it's, it's, it isn't quite as good. So this was pretty good, I guess, at the halfway point of the season. Speaking of halfway point, what are your biggest positives and then your biggest areas that need work after six? Well, you know, looking at the, uh, the positives, I think we've, we've done a good job of, of uh, playing defensively and staying over the top and not allowing big plays and making it difficult for the opponent to, to, to get easy scores. Um, you know, offensively, I thought last, our last ball game out against TCU, we did some really good things running the ball, had some uh, high completion percentage, uh, you know, uh, did some good things. You know, if we would have uh, – there's a couple of opportunities for us to even score a few more points. We had to settle for field goals, uh, had a penalty, I think, on a second and three that pushed it back, pushed us back to second and eight when we were down on a five or six yard line, something like that. You know, so there's there's more points out there, but it was a good start for us. We obviously we hadn't scored for the two games before that, and and we needed to. I I was happy with the fact that we didn't have any special teams penalties. We We'd had them at least one in every game that we'd played up until uh, the TCU game. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of positives to take from that game. Uh, but we can obviously get a lot better. You know, we, we've got to continue to keep doing a super job with ball security and winning the turnover takeaway margin. We were plus four the last game. And, you know, you're plus four. You're, you got a great chance of winning. And, and uh, we did a good job running the ball, I thought, and, and also stopping the run. Uh you know, and then, you know, as I said about special teams, you know, we may not have made any explosive plays, but we did a good job covering punts and kicks and, and uh, you know, didn't hurt ourselves by having, you know, foolish penalties in that phase of the game because it hurts you more there than it does offensively and defensively. So there's a lot of things to build on, but, you know, it, that game seems like it was about two months ago. So we uh, we got to make sure we're doing a great job of focusing on the task at hand with uh, – University of Kansas. Uh, just based on your comments on the efficiency in the run and pass game, would you say those kind of contributed to unlocking the offense? Yeah, you know, it was uh, we were accurate early, had some easy throws. You know, I, I, I think we need to do a better job of taking some shots in the ball downfield and uh, throwing it as well. But, uh, yeah, we ran the ball effectively early and, and uh, you know, with both our running backs – little bit with our receivers and also with our quarterbacks. It was a big, big run right before half with Zeon, and uh, uh, he, he did a good job, uh, you know, uh, being very accurate, uh, throwing the ball. Willie, uh, kind of a two-parter on Zeon. One, how have you seen him maybe since the beginning grow into that role or at least kind of stay ready if, if you needed him? And then during the, the open week, was there an emphasis on on getting him more up to speed, or did you feel like he already had a good grasp? I think he had a good grasp. You know, he'd been banged up a little bit, uh, you know, during the early part of the season. You know, so uh, that that hampered his development. You know, by by not being fully healthy and being able to practice every day and being able to do do everything. You know, and uh, leading up to the last ball game, he was obviously healthy and. Played extremely well, and he's healthy now. So, uh, you know, proud of him of coming out and playing well early, and I think that contributed to to him having a great game. And then I was very proud of Donovan coming in. Uh, Zion had cramped up and wasn't able to play the, the last series, and Donovan came in and really, you know, iced the game for us and played well. Is the plan moving forward to continue featuring both quarterbacks? No, Zion's going to be our starter. You know, but we've got uh, Donovan uh, ready to go if we need him. 
Willie, uh, this is going back home for you. Uh, growing up, were you a, a Chiefs fan? Did you go to many games at Arrowhead? And you kind of just talk about going going back to Kansas. Well, you know, I, I was uh, you know, I graduated high school a long time ago, and then I coached at your high school there in I think eighty three. Uh, but I was at Central Missouri for a long period of time, and so I was in and out of Kansas City. My whole family, my wife's whole family, lives there in Kansas City. I'm the only one who's ventured outside, I guess, of the city limits. And uh, you know, so uh, uh, yeah, you know, at, at uh, you know, at one time when I was there, I was a Chiefs fan. Used to go watch uh, Marty Schottenheimer, and you know, in preseason camp, and that's where I actually got. Having our guys wearing officials' uniform and handing the ball to him, I was, stole that from him. And then, uh, you know, Marvin Levy and obviously Coach Reed. I've been to a few of his practices. So, yeah, they do a fantastic job and, and uh, good, really good place. I'm I'm worried about tickets this week. So if you can help me, Joseph, I'd appreciate it. How many? Uh, how many you I'm gonna have a bunch. I'm gonna have a bunch. So I will. We'll, we'll see. I'll be helping KU out a little bit. <laughs> I'll be helping them out with the crowd a little bit. No, I got a lot of I got a lot of good friends. I went college close to Kansas City, and you know, I got a lot of family up there. I'm the only, as I said, I got you know I got a sister and four brothers live there in town. My wife's family's from there, so you know I got a lot of I'm, I'm lucky. I got a lot of good friends that are up in that area. Can you talk about an injury to Kurt Hester? <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. Now I got, yeah, I guess he got hurt a couple months ago, and he's been toughing it out, and and so he had knee surgery. What do you have? MCL, I think it is, and and uh, so he had it in our bye week, and and uh, I think he thought he was just going to have that surgery and bounce right back and be wouldn't need crutches or nothing, but he's uh, he's on crutches right now. So I know it's a it's a, a tough injury for for a guy like him to be on crutches. So. Uh, uh, but he'll be back after it here in a little bit. It'll be a new and improved Coach Hester here in a few months. Willie, you had mentioned the uh, the turnover margin, especially in that last game. It, they seem to come in waves. Uh, but what your defense is doing to force those, can you kind of just – Well, two great interceptions by A.J. You know, he's very deserving of conference player, the defensive player of the, the week. He played outstanding football and – and then, uh, you know, Hershey McLaurin did a great job with, with stripping. He, you know, we, we work all the time at punching the ball, and, and he did it, and we re- recovered that one. And, and uh, you know, so the, and then uh, Zy Strong at the end of the game had a, had a strip sack that uh, Michael Batten re- recovered. So, you know, you got to work on it every day, and you got to take your, you know, when you get the opportunity, you got to take it. And, uh, you know, I talked to our guys early this morning in our team meeting that I saw a lot of really bad ball security over the weekend, you know, we got to make sure that's not us, you know. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the ball security is very, very important and equally as important as taking the ball away, either interceptions or forced fumbles and fumble recoveries and all those kind of things. It's, it's very, very important. Um, looking at film on Kansas, is there anything that you see that stands out that you would like your team to be uh, well aware of? <laughs> well, number one, they're an excellent program you know I got a lot of respect respect for coach Lance and great job that he does I've known him a long time and uh you know they've they've had some tough luck you know they really have I I believe they've you know led I don't know how many times going into the fourth quarter it's a bunch and uh they've lost by less than a score on on a bunch of games I don't have all that here with me but uh you know he does an excellent job they're a very disciplined team they they run the ball very effectively. You know, they got their quarterback back healthy. He's really a dynamic player. Uh, you know, they don't beat themselves. Uh, so the, the, we're going to have to play extremely well in this game. We've got we to, you know, got to play, you know, uh, complimentary football and, and do a good job in all three phases to have an opportunity to win. Willie, wanting to build off of the the offense in the TCU game was last week a um, a chance to did you dive back into it and see more of like personnel stuff or what works or kind of how you wanted to to build off of that? Yeah, you, you go ahead and you you do uh, uh, you know research on your team 
what you're doing good, what you're doing bad. Why are you doing it good? Why are you doing it bad? What do you got to get rid of? You know, what, you know, if, it, if it's not fixable, just don't try to keep doing it, whether it's offense, defense, or kicking game. Who's playing? You know, that's, that's always a, a big deal to me. I've, I've seen it happen many, many times before where, you know, you, you're rolling two guys and this guy's playing a heck of a lot better than the other guy. Why are you, why are you doing that? And, and uh, you know, so we looked at a lot of things, self-evaluation, and, uh, and then we had a chance to really dive into the, our last ball game. And we watched every single snap of it with our guys a week ago Monday. You don't always get a chance to do that, you know, and th- then we jumped into to Kansas, you know, after that. Was there a general conclusion to what you saw or what, what you guys kind of – Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes, too, uh, going back and looking at tape of guys, you know, maybe that they, at, their, at high school or maybe they played someplace else and transferred in here and seen some things they do well, seen some things they maybe don't do well, but uh, – you know, technique, fundamentals, uh, that, that's something you can really dive into in that bye week. You know, we, we did a lot more of that than we normally do. I didn't think we tackled great our last time out. I think we had 19 missed tackles, and I think in uh, three of the games we were in single digits. When you're in single digits, you're really tackling well. So we did a lot of tackling last week, you know, and with movable objects, you know, because we got to get better in that area because we, we've been, been a very good tackling defense. Um, second half of the TCU game, um, you can say the offense stalled a little bit. Would you say that was conservative play calling, or would you say TCU just uh, adjusted well? Well, I think it's both, probably. You know, I thought, I thought there was, uh, you know, the, the, the goal is to win the game, you know, and, and uh, getting that field goal at the end was really kind of iced the game for us. You know, and, and so that was – you know, we got in position to be able to do it. Obviously, we'd love to score a touchdown, but didn't didn't work that way. But, uh, you know, I, I thought it was a spectacular drive, you know, seven and a half minutes off the clock. And when we got the ball in our possession, we we're playing really good defense. You know, so it was, uh, it was it, in, in that regard, it was excellent. But so, uh, yeah, it was a little bit uh, uh, conservative at times you – have to be that way. I've, I've had a lot of games where we've kneeled at the end, and that's a good thing. Speaking of defense, Willie, the, their quarterback, as mobile as he is and ability to, to make plays, you don't see a lot of those quarterbacks these days, but can you just kind of discuss what, what it is to, to, to kind of contain him? You know, I don't think we've played anybody this year that doesn't ha- hasn't had a somewhat mobile quarterback. You know, some of them better than others, obviously, and in their movement, but you're right. This guy does an excellent job of, of tucking it and running. You know, pass rush lanes are so important. You know, you just got to do a good job with your pass rush lanes. You know, I watched a couple teams just get beat this weekend because their outside contained rush guys just took bad angles to the quarterback, and the quarterback was able to get outside the pocket. And, and uh, one time he threw a touchdown pass, another time he ran for about 30 yards. So we got to do a great job with pass rush lanes. We got to do a great job with option. You know, they're going to run some option at us, speed option, which you don't see a whole lot of anymore. And, you know, their their version of triple option as well. So we we've got to do a, a really good job of of uh, you know being a quarterback player because when he gets out on the perimeter, he's very very dangerous and uh, he's got a super strong arm too. You know, he's a, he's a true dual threat quarterback. Thanks, guys.